Welcome to the City of Louisville Remote Planning and Zoning Commission meeting over Zoom. Today is April 7th, it's 6.30 p.m. and we do have a quorum present virtually. I want to give everyone listening from home some instructions on how to speak if you desire to. If you're viewing on your computer or through a smartphone application, press the raise your hand button. If you have called into the meeting, press star nine to raise your hand to speak. Once your hand is raised, staff will bring this to my attention and we will let you speak after the item is read and the staff presentation is given. If you're having any kind of trouble using these features, uh, please call 817-938 4409 uh, for some staff assistance. Okay. First item is called meeting to order, which we did, and we do have a quorum present. Item number two is approval of the minutes of the June 16, 2020 meeting. If there are no additions or corrections to that, may I have of the uh, last meeting, June 16th. Motion. Move to approve. Okay, motion by Aram to approve. May I have a second? second. Who's that? Mary Ellen? Karen. Oh, Karen. Okay. Motion by Aram. Seconded by Karen. Now we'll do a roll call vote. And please respond by A or nay. William? Aye. That was an A. Uh, John is not present. Mary Ellen? Aye. Alvin is not present. Karen? Aye. Aaron? Aye. John is there. Oh, there's John. I think he said I. Let's see if I can read lips. That is six I and one absent. For motion carried. Item number three is regular hearing plats. Um, do you want those? Uh, do you want those read separately or together? Um, yes, let's read them separately, and we'll let's read them separately, and then we can um, just give you a brief summary of the listed deficiencies. Okay. Item three: regular hearing plats. Item three a: <laughs> final plat of Trinity Townhomes Edition, lots one through eight, block A. And this is on a 0 0.302 acres. <coughs> it's out of the AG King survey. The abstract number is 698 zoned Old Town Mixed Use 2, which is OTM U2 district. It's located on the northwest corner of Main Street, which is Farm to Market 1171 and Leonard Street. Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, this plot was submitted on June 6, 2020, in accordance with House Bill 3167. Staff recommends the disapproval of this plot with the condition that staff be delegated the ability to accept and approve the plot once the following discrepancies from Louisville's Code of Ordinance, Chapter 9.5, uh, be corrected. Um, one that the law layout and setbacks be corrected and the HOA documents be sent to staff to ensure the common space is maintained, um, that the right-of-way dedication requirements be met, that the required park fees and street escrow be included, that all of the required summary table information be present on the plat, um, that all of the Ditton County requirements be met, and that inconsistencies with the required labeling and layout be corrected. Hey, thank you, John. Um, 
Commissioners, any questions, comments? If not, may I have a motion on 3A, the final plan of Trinity Townhomes Edition? Move, Move to, to disapprove. Okay, motion by Karen. To Second. Disapprove. Seconded by William. Um, we'll do a roll call. William. Yay. John. Aye. Mary Ellen. Aye. Uh, Karen. Aye. Aaron. Aye. Jim. Aye. Uh, that motion carries uh, six ayes, uh, one absent. Okay, item 3B. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the final plat of Villas of Bel Air Edition is containing 102 residential lots, eight open space lots, seven private street lots, and this is on a 9.06 acres. It is out of the Eli Pickett survey. The abstract number is 1014-1014. It is a zoned plan development townhouse two, which is PD dash TH2 district, located on the Northwest corner of Bel Air Boulevard and Southwest Parkway uh, and Oakwood Lane intersection. Portion being a replat of lot two of Oakwood West edition. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, so again, this is pursuant to um, House Bill um, 3167, uh, just like our previous plot. Uh, there are um, a number of deficiencies, uh, specifically to section 627 and 673 of our development code. Staff is recommending uh, disapproval and delegating to staff the authority to approve once all of the deficiencies are corrected. Okay, commissioners, any questions? If not, may I have a motion on uh, item 3B, regular hearing for the Villas of Bel Air edition. Move to disapprove with giving staff uh, delegation to approve once all the deficiencies are corrected. Okay, motion by William for disapproval. Second. Seconded by Mary Ellen. We'll do the roll call. William. Aye. John. Aye. Mary Ellen. Aye. Uh, Karen. Aye. Aram. Aye. Myself. Aye. Uh, the motion carries six ayes and one absent. And thank you, commissioners. Both of those plats um, are, will be finally approved by staff and brought back to you for signature. Okay, thank you. The next item is public hearing for consideration item 3A, consideration of a zone change request from single family residential, which is R-75, <coughs> to Old Town Mixed Use 2 District, OTMU2. It's on approximately 0 0.52 acres, legally described as a portion of Lot 2, Block E, Old Town, OT, Louisville, and located at 135 West Walter Street, as requested by William Peck of William Peck and Associates, Incorporated, on behalf of SJC Holdings, LLC. <laughs> this is case number 20-06-2-Z. Commissioners, staff recommends that the PNZ Commission continue this item to the July 21st PNZ meeting as the zone change sign was not properly posted at the site. So we need a motion to do that. 
Correct. Yes, a motion and uh, a vote. All right. So may I have a motion? Move to uh, continue this to the July 21st meeting. Okay, motion by William for continuance. Second. Seconded by Aaron. We'll do the roll call vote. William? Aye. John? Aye. Mary Ellen? Aye. Alvin? Absent. Karen? Aye. Aaron? Aye. Uh, myself? Aye. So the motion carries six uh, affirmatives and one absent. Thank you, commissioners. We'll bring this back to you for the July 21st meeting and keep it on the same originally scheduled council meeting uh, for their first meeting in August. Okay, thank you. Uh, item number five is other business. And the other business is the overlay district board <coughs> followed by the transportation board uh, will meet following this. So I think that's all for this. May I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn by Mary Ellen. Second. Second. Second by Aaron. I uh, will do the roll call vote. William? Aye. John? Aye. Mary Ellen? Aye. Karen? Aye. Aaron? Aye. Myself, aye. So that motion carries. Uh, six ayes, uh, one absent. Uh, meeting adjourned. So we just go straight into the other one? Yes, sir. Need a minute? Or, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what time it is. All right, the time is uh, 642. And uh, call to order the overlay district board meeting. And we do have a quorum present. Item number two is the approval of the minutes of the June 15th meeting to 2020. Uh, are there any additions or corrections? If not, may I have a motion to approve those minutes as presented? Move to approve. Who said that? Mary Ellen? Yes. Okay. Uh, motion to approve by Mary Ellen. Second. Seconded by Aaron. I uh, will do the roll call vote. <coughs> William? Aye. <laughs> John? Aye. Mary Ellen? Aye. Alvin? Absent. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And myself? Aye. So minutes are approved uh, with a vote of six ayes and uh, one absent. <clears throat> Item number three is consideration of two alternative standards <coughs> associated with a new development on a 1.130 acre lot legally described as Hilton Garden in addition, block A, lot two, located on the southwest side of Lake Vista Drive approximately 570 feet south of the East Vista Drive Mall, East Vista Ridge Mall Drive, zoned light industrial L1 district, as requested by D.Y. Lee of DL Architecture on behalf of Jenga uh, My Young Son, the property owner, case number 2006-5, a L T S T D. Board members, the two story office retail building was proposed to be located off of Lake Vista Drive um, near State Highway 121 in the I 35 East Overlay District's transition subdistrict. 
It is currently going through the development process. The applicant is seeking approval for two alternative standards regarding the architectural requirement. Um, the first alternative standard requested is to allow six colors in lieu of the required three. Uh, the applicant is proposing to use four different brick colors and two stone colors on this building. Um, this alternative standard will need a recommendation before a final decision um, by city council. The staff has no objection to this alternative standard as um, all the colors are, are neutral natural. Um, the second alternative standard is to allow canopies along 75% of the front facade in lieu of the required 50%. Uh, the overlay standards require that canopies be placed along exactly 50% of the front facade. Uh, the applicant is proposing a front facade that has um, doors and windows that exceed 50% of the front facade and would like awnings placed above each of these groupings. Um, staff has no objection to this alternative standard. Um, and this is something that the overlay board can improve tonight. Um, I can answer any questions you may have and the applicant is also in attendance if you have any questions for him. Okay, commissioners, questions? Mm -mm. Okay, then may I have a motion on item uh, three, consideration of two alternative standards for the new development, uh, Harden, uh, Hilton Garden in addition. Move to approve. Motion by Mary Ellen. Second. Second. Seconded by John. Sorry. And we'll do a roll call. Roll call vote. Uh, William? Aye. John? Aye. Mary Ellen? Aye. Alvin? Absent. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And myself? Aye. So the motion carries six and one absent. Thank you, board members. Um, alternative standard A regarding the six colors will appear before city council on April 3rd for a final decision. A correction, I think August 3rd. August 3rd, I'm uh, sorry. Thank you. Okay, item four. Consideration of a four alternative standards associated with a proposed expansion Industrial building. It's on 25.263 acre lot, legally described as Summit Business Park Edition, Block A, Lot 3. This is located at 1175 North Stimmons Freeway. It is zoned light industrial L1. And this is requested by Jason Russell of GSR Andrade Architects on behalf of Norman International Dallas, LLC, the property owner. This is case number 20-05-5-ALPSTD. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, if you recall, this item was tabled from our last meeting. Uh, staff is actually recommending now that we take no action on this item as the city council is considering uh, this with an economic development uh, potential incentives. So our recommendation is to simply take no action on it tonight and uh, move on to the other business item of the agenda. Okay, thank you. Okay, so do we need a motion for that? Move to take no action at this time. Okay, motion by Karen. Second. Seconded by William. We'll do the roll call vote. William. Aye. John. Aye. Mary Ellen. Aye. Alvin. Absent. Karen. 
Aye. Aaron. And myself, aye. So motion carries, six ayes, one absent. Um, okay. Other business, uh, following this meeting, there's a transportation board meeting. Um, what I need now is a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn by Aaron. Second. Seconded by Mary Ellen. And we must do the roll call. William? Aye. John? Aye. Uh, Mary Ellen? Aye. Alvin? Absent. Karen? Aye. Aram? Aye. And myself? Aye. So motion carries six, one absent. Uh, meeting adjourned. Okay, are we ready for the transportation board? Let's just uh, make sure we have all of our staff uh, from our uh, transportation team present and available. Okay. All right, I think we're ready. Okay, it is 6.51 and I'll be calling to order the Transportation Board meeting for July 7th, 2020. And the first item on the agenda is to approve the uh, minutes from the May 5th, 2020 meeting. Are there any questions or corrections to the minutes of the last meeting? If not, may I have a motion? Move. Motion by Aram. I'll move to approve the minutes as presented. Is that a second or, or a first for John? <laughs> Whichever. Aram, Aram said something, so we'll go with John. You'll be a second. We'll do roll call vote. William? Aye. Aram? Aye. John? Aye. Jim? Aye. Karen? Aye. And myself? Aye. At six ayes. One absent, motion carried. Next item is for visitors or citizens forum. At this time, any person with business before the board not scheduled on the agenda may speak to the board. No formal action can be taken on these items at this meeting. Is there anyone wishing to come before the board? Uh, there are no persons here at City Hall. And looking at our attendees list, we have one attendee, but their hand is not raised. Okay. We will move on then to item number four. Consideration of an amendment to section 15-35, maximum speed limits on specific streets of the Louisville City Code to establish the speed limit of 50 miles an hour on State Highway 121 frontage roads, northbound and southbound, from Denton Tap to the east city limits at Standridge Drive, and make a recommendation to the City Council regarding the amendments. Jason? Commissioners, uh, I'm having a little camera trouble tonight, so I apologize for that. Um, staff is looking for a uh, recommendation on that, um, the speed limit set for State Highway 121 frontage roads, and we were provided a speed study from TxDOT on the behalf of NTTA showing the speed limits and everything and lowering them to uh, accommodate the, the many driveways we have along our frontage roads and the crash data that shows lowering the speed limits would be a safer um, speed limit for the frontage roads. And figures two and three show the, the proposed speed limit and the existing speed limit for comparing them. You're only talking about maybe lowering the speed limit five miles an hour in most, uh, most instances. 
I'm not going to answer any questions if anybody has any. Any questions by the Transportation Board? Is this the same section that we increased the speed on the actual highway? No, sir. This is just the frontage roads. No, this but I mean, is it the same, the same distance or length? That um, distance, the distance that was increased at the last Transportation Board meeting was from Grapevine to Cop L. Then this starts at Ditton Tap and runs to Standridge on the frontage roads, not the actual state highway. Okay. Any other questions? If not, may I have a motion on this item? Move to approve. Motion by William. Second. Second by Aram. Roll call vote. William? Aye. Aram? Aye. John? Aye. Kim? Aye. Karen? Aye. And myself? Aye. That is six ayes, one absent. Motion passes. And our second item number five, actually that doesn't make sense, item number five, consideration of an amendment to section 15-204, certain terms prohibited of the Louisville City Code to pro prohibit U-turn lanes on eastbound Windhaven Parkway at the first median opening east of Josie Lane and make a recommendation to the City Council regarding the amendment. Cigar. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to share my screen. Um, can you see the screen, uh, the, the map, the aerial map? Just a minute, Sagar, to change your permissions here. There we go. So, Sagar, you are still on mute. I'm very sorry. Um, th this is a, a traffic sign request that came from uh, the Castle Hills district. Um, at the, at the first median opening on um, uh, Windhaven Parkway, east of Josie Lane, um, the request is for a no U-turn sign for the eastbound direction. Um, you can see from the aerial map that there's a, a, a turn lane storage bay for the westbound direction at the median opening, um, but there's no storage bay for the eastbound direction. And uh, the complaint was that, you know, uh, uh, drivers, some drivers try to make U-turns um, at that location and it is unsafe. So um, until um, a turn bay gets built, um, um, it would be, it would be, uh, it is advisable to install a no U-turn sign uh, at that location. Um, so st staff uh, concurs with the request made by the Castle Hills District and recommends installation of the sign. Um, um, it, it, because because um, uh, the signs in the Castle Hills district are enforced by um, Louisville PD, um, uh, it needs to be in, the turn restriction needs to be shown in the Louisville ordinance, and our PD will be enforcing it. But the actual sign will be installed by uh, uh, Castle Hills district. Okay, thank you. Board members, do we have any questions? Concerns? Then may I may I have a motion please on this item? I move to approve. 
Is that Aram? Yeah. Okay. A motion by Aram. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by Karen. <laughs> Roll call vote. William? Aye. Aram? Aye. John? Aye. Jim? Aye. Karen? Aye. And myself, aye. Motion passes, six ayes, one absent. And I believe the uh, next item is adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Motion by Karen. Second. Second by William. Roll call vote. William? Aye. Aram? Aye. John? Aye. Jim? Aye. Karen? Aye. And myself is aye. Motion passes. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.